A lot of songs with a guy named Slade Cleves, who we grew up together in a little town in southern Maine. We've been friends since we were eight and nine years old. And uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, I've already played a few that we that we wrote together. But here, here's one that we wrote together a long, long time ago, and it got used in a movie a few years ago that that nobody has seen. <laughs> but you, saw it, you actually did see it. We were so disappointed that yeah. you know, I was a little yeah, no, no. Was, tell, How do you think I feel? <laughs> yeah. uh, but they, they they called us up and we each got Slade and I each get a message in you know on our phone machine saying that they were going to use the song in a movie and we had to sign off on it and store it. And so I, I was at a hotel and I called Slade up and I said. Is this a real thing? I said. He said, Yeah, yeah, it's a real movie. I said, it's not like some guy, you know, right? Like, you know, I know because I know what you're thinking. Yeah, no, you know, anybody can make a fucking movie, but he's like, Yeah, no, it's a Michael Douglas is in it, and Susan Sarandon's in it, and Danny DeVito's in it. So we were like, Like, what if it's great? You know, like, what if, what if they really use it, and you know, it's a, it's a great movie, and it gets a lot of attention and stuff. And so during the conversation, Slade said. Listen, it, there's not a, bit, a lot of money up front, but here's where the money is. Like, if it gets on HBO, it plays in Cinemax or whatever, you know, stars, it plays over and over and over. That, so that's where the real money is, because it plays all over the country, you know, not just in the theater, and, 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 and over and over and over. So I was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, so what if it's great, you know, and I had my little HBO guide at the hotel, you know, that little tiny guy, <laughs> and I'm looking through there, and I'm going, what if it's great? And then I realize, oh, no. No, because it's really the shitty movies that they play over and over and over on HBO. So then I was like, shitty movie, come on, be a really shitty movie. <laughs> and we actually talked about it, we talked it through, and we decided that that was actually a perfect level of shittiness would be like better than uh, Sylvester Stallone's Cobra, but not as good as Harry and the Hendersons. <laughs> perfect amount of shitty. And... Uh, but it, came, it was a big disappointment. Yeah, you know, it was fun to go through the process, but it was a big disappointment because it came out like on a Friday afternoon. And by Sunday afternoon, it was at the fucking Walmart in the bin with Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, uh, the end of it was, and I never, I never saw it. You know, it disappeared. It never played where I was. You know, and uh, so then about a year later, I was grocery shopping. And I, I walked by the red box machine, and there it was. It was in the machine. So I rented it for $1.29, <laughs> which is like five cents more than they paid me for the song. <laughs> I was like, fuck it, have your money back. And I, I rented it. And, um, but it was, um, uh, I really do remember, like, when I got to the end of the movie, and it was fine. You know, it was a kind of sweet movie. It wasn't, and they barely used the song at all. You know, it was while, while it was in a dialogue scene. It was, like, supposed to be on the radio. You know what I mean? You could barely hear it at all. And, but at the end, when the credits rolled, it was, honestly, it was really thrilling to, like, see an actual film, you know, made by a studio. And then the, at the very end, when they list the songs, and to see my name, it was, it was really cool, you know? That was uh, that was the best part of the whole thing. What was the name of the movie? Yeah, oh, it was called it was called Solitary Man. Solitary, Solitary. Solitary Man. What about yeah. Justified? Justified song? Oh yeah, yeah. No, no, those those were those were great. Those were actually good. I had a couple songs in a in a TV show that I've never seen called Justified. Hmm? Watch it. Anybody yeah, seen it? A, no, it's good. Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah. You've seen it? Yes. Yeah. It was like a minute and a half, basically jukebox in the background where you could actually hear most of it. Did they have a little picture of me down in the no, corner? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a hot one in the scene, so you, you know, you had to be able to <laughs> Well, I'll do that. I'll do, yes. I'll do Trouble Girl, too. That's the one, that's the one they used in, in Justin. Yep. So it's been an inter you know, it's been a fun, it's, those things are fun. They're really, they're really hard to come by, so they're kind of fun to sort of ride along with when they do happen, you know. And some people, you know, I mean, I've been lucky with that stuff, so I've had a few things over the years. And, but, you know, some people actively pursue that stuff and, and never get anything. Mine just kind of came to me accidentally, so I don't know what that means. <laughs> but lucky, I guess. Um, but here's the one, here's the one, the one they used in Solitary. Than a Bible belt rope, 
along come a boy, pretty as the devil. She took his hand and he told him, Ravel, there ain't no turn, Ravel, sprue. Tried to hawk it somewhere at the bottom of Lake Poncha Train. There's a love note carved in a wedding ring. Broke down, cracked and shattered, left in pieces like it never even mattered. There ain't no turning round. It's broke down. Good night to the sound of her own heart. Bed is cold, but her blood runs hot. Broke down, cracked and shattered, left in pieces like it never even mattered. There ain't no turning round. It's broke. Let's roll.